Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another green light unboxing video where we're going to take two cases of green light and we're going to open them up and hope for some green machines. This is Hollywood Series 19 and this is Hollywood Series 22. Uh, these cases, if you've been watching these series, have been basically, uh, this content has been provided to me by Die Castrum. These are his cars. Uh, he is from overseas. He orders them here uh, in the U.S. to be shipped to me. Um, and then I open them up, consolidate the shipping, cut open the cars, all that stuff. Um, get to film these unboxings, and that's a lot of fun. And uh, then I forward them off to him. Uh, if you watch this channel, you've probably heard Dicastrum's name quite a few times, and you're going to continue to hear it as because uh, we're buddies. And uh, it's just this is a good time. I like actually doing this. I enjoy it. It's a labor of love. So <clears throat> plus it helps out, you know. Um, Here's one interesting thing about this case that I just noticed right away from this Hollywood Series 19 case. Now, these came from 3000 Toys, um, so but check this out. From Greenlight Collectibles, Ontario, Canada, to uh, Rialto, California, Toys R Us. So... Apparently, this case, I think, was either originally supposed to come to Toys R Us or possibly 3,000 Toys ended up buying a lot of cases uh, when Toys R Us was closing out. So, interesting indeed. So, they stocked this case in their warehouse, looks like May 11, 2018. So, this is an older um, series. Let's go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> and let's take a look and see if we score a green machine. Um, I tend not to get very lucky in the Hollywood cases, but who knows? Who knows what we're gonna, what we're gonna find in here. All right, so the first one in the case is the 77 Dodge Monaco from The Terminator. Uh, this one I did pick up for myself. Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I got this one. Yeah, the Terminators are just an awesome movie. Uh, and uh, this one is thirty-five twenty-three. The first one and the second one, anyway. <clears throat> All right, so really, really cool Hollywood series. What series is nineteen? That one's a winner in my book. I think that's really awesome. Really, really cool. All right, so moving on, we've got John Wick two. The 2008 Ford Crown Victoria taxi cab. That is pretty cool, too. I've actually never seen either of the John Wick or any of the John Wick movies. Um, probably should check them out. It's an action movie, right? I'd probably enjoy it. Everybody loves Keanu Reeves, so. <sighs> pretty cool. So this one's got a hologram on the back, too. I'm always interested in kind of like the licensing that they got to go after for these. And Greenlight's so legit with their licensing. They have a lot of these cars that are going to have a hologram on the back. I wonder how much extra they have to pay to do this. It's just they seem to go after licensing so much. And they put out all these new tools at the same time. So it's just, it's I don't know, it's insane what they're able to do. Uh, then here is BA's 1983 GMC Vandura. And that's a good question. Does Greenlight actually, is they, are they home? Is there home in Canada? I mean, I know that box got shipped from Canada to, right? Or am I crazy? No, Ontario, California, not Canada. What? Okay, I'm an idiot. All right, anyway, BA's 1983 GMC Vandura. So please forgive me for that. Hopefully you guys are deleting your comments that you already made trying to correct me. Um, <laughs> it's Ontario, Canada. Come on, whatever. All right, so BA's 1983 GMC Vandura. This, I was super stoked to see this come out, this A-Team van. Uh, this one I definitely picked up for my own collection. Of course I did. And um, it's just a really cool casting and pretty amazing. All right, let's, let's keep her going here from John Wick chapter 1 2011 Dodge Charger nice look to this one all blacked out that looks good really nice number 2515 did we look at all these numbers 
totally losing it now. 2184. The GMC Vandura is 5415. Alright. That's a nice version of this. Uh, nice version of this car. Nice clean. Blacked out. Looks good. Uh, oh, cool. Gas Monkey Garage. Uh, the 1968 Chevy GT 500 KR. Um, this casting is, is a weird one. It's odd. And the reason why it's odd is I don't know what the deal is with it. It's number 4069 on the bottom. Uh, but this is a Shelby's, Shelby Collectibles tooling. Um, or I don't know who made it originally, or the Greenlight Show. It's got to be Shelby Collectibles that they leased this tooling from them, which is just, I don't know, to me, strange, but whatever. Uh, this is one of the only Greenlights, maybe the only Greenlight casting that actually has opening doors. Uh, the doors do open on this casting. Pretty sure they do anyway. They do in the Shelby Collectibles one. So the hood opens and the doors open. It's got like an insert detail for the taillights. It's got insert detail for the headlights. So it's kind of an elaborate tooling, and this one actually comes with a spare tire on the back as well. Um, anyway, just weird. Just weird that they would do that. I, I have no idea necessarily why. Maybe they couldn't decide not to develop a tooling for this. Just cut a little corner there and uh, uh, just grab one from Shelby Collectibles. I don't know. It's weird, though. It's got a side mirror, too. So that's an interesting one. I, I need an example of that tooling. Eventually, I need to grab one. And then we got Charlie's Angels, Jill Monroe's 1976 Ford Mustang 2 Cobra 2. The 2 2. I do have this casting. I think mine's a T top, though. I don't think I have the full on hardtop version of it. So I'll have to get a version of that eventually. This wouldn't be a bad one to have. It's, it's pretty nice looking. White and blue. I've always liked the way this car looks. I, know, I just thought it was kind of cool. Alright, so anyway, that's series 19. And uh, pretty cool series. And then we got series 22. Uh, this one was stocked in their warehouse, it looks like, just this year. So it's a newer series. I think this is the first one that has Christine in it. This, I think that's series 22. The non evil version of the clear windows. I, I might be way off. We're going to find out though. Oh, it's got Christine in it, but not. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get into the case. Oh, Little Miss Sunshine. 1978 Volkswagen Type 2 T2 bus. Eh. Again, just interesting choice of. I don't know. Really kind of stretching for movie cars on this one. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. I don't even remember this movie. I know I've seen it. And holographic sticker. For Volkswagen. Uh, what's the number on the bottom there? 2574. Eh. It's cool. Stop collecting that casting. <laughs> I mentioned it. Ooh. Boom. Greeny. Okay, so we got a Greeny, the 1965 Lincoln Continental Entourage Green Machine. I've got the regular version of this car. I didn't get it because of the Entourage HBO series. I got it because uh, I needed a version of that tooling, and that was a pretty good looking clean one. Yeah, I do have it. I'm just looking at my wall green light there. That's a cool tooling. I think they have a hard top version of it. I do need to get that. Um,. But anyway, Green Machine. Check it out. It's pretty awesome. I'm trying to find the number on the bottom. Uh, 304. A low number, Greeny 2. So that is pretty cool to see a chase car pop up in this. Entourage, I think I've only watched like season 1 and 2 way back in the day when it came out. Kind of fun. Uh, then we got the 1970 Dodge Challenger. Graveyard cars. It's a nice looking car. I like the uh, metal flake purple. 
looks uh, pretty good. And this one is 6740. There's a number on that one. Not a bad series. I think you get another one, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Another Challenger. They actually have two of the same toolings in this series. They are the same, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so a 70 Dodge Challenger RT and a 70 Dodge Challenger. And that's kind of lazy, isn't it? Putting two of the same tooling thing. This is Vanishing Point. This one's definitely got some quality control issue on it, too. Looks like it got sideswiped. And I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be like that. Uh, 6496 is the number. They definitely made more than 10,000 of these cars, and Hollywood cars in, in general seem to get the, the highest production numbers. Um, which is because, you know, they're kind of cross-popular. If you're a fan of this Vanishing Point movie, then you might be a want to get all the cars from it, right? So, cross-collectible. All right, we got two more to go. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1971 Chevy C10. I'm serious, 22. This is nice. I like this one. I like this one quite a bit. Um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the movie, like, I don't know. It's like a, what a cult classic, I guess. Um, you know, and you guys are going to definitely have to forgive me. I mention this all the time. Like, I'm not super pop culture apt. I don't really care <laughs> all that much. I do to a certain degree. I mean, I used to watch a lot of TV, a lot of shows, I, you know, whatever. I used to watch a ton of movies, ton of this, ton of that, and really enjoy some stuff. And there's definitely some stuff I really enjoy. Just not... Horror flicks don't really, I don't know, trip my trigger. More of a psychological thriller kind of guy, whatever. Anyway, there's that Chevy C10. That's a cool one, though. I like the truck. And then Christine... The 1968 Dodge Charter. This thing is pretty, uh, for sure. And this one I would have probably picked up um, had I not had a bunch of different versions of this casting already. But it is definitely a nice-looking version. Oh yeah, by the way, this was 2469 was the number on this one, and this one is 1546. But this is a very nice-looking um, car. Uh, just very nice looking so from the movie Christine, which is a cool movie. The uh, Christine is a cool movie. That's a movie I've seen several times, and I quite enjoy it. Um, pretty awesome. Okay, so that's going to be it for this series. Uh, we scored a green machine. That's always exciting. So we scored a greenie. Uh, that's pretty fun. Um, honestly, the the highlights of this series for me just on a, on a quality of car standpoint I think this one is really awesome being a weathered Chevy C10 I don't care that it's part of the Chex Texas Chainsaw Massacre or whatever movie I don't even know if it's like from the like remake of it or if it's from the uh, whatever probably from the reboot of it and then uh, the other highlight is kind of this guy here just because I don't have an example of that tooling in it. And it's weird. It's just straight up weird because it's it's a Shelby Collectibles tooling. Strange. I don't even know if they assigned it a green light tooling number. It's screwed together. Well, yeah, it's put together with screws. I'm trying to see if there's a tooling number on the bottom of it. And I highly doubt that there is because it's really not a, not a green light tooling. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, please check out the playlist for Greenlight on my channel, which has these case unboxings. Um, I've got a bunch of them on there now, so check them all out if you missed them. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day.